Hey everybody, we're gonna make an animation using some custom objects from the Pivot SDK library. So you're gonna to go to pivotanimator.net and um, first thing we're gonna do is just we're gonna to go to Pivot Animator. This is where you download Pivot. I have a whole video on how to download. Just, you can search for that on my channel. We're gonna to go to the SDK library. The SDK library, the SDKs are objects that can be used, manipulated, loaded, downloaded, saved inside of Pivot. And these are, there's tons of different things. This is just a, this is just a small collection and this is actually going to be growing um, as people submit. You can actually uh, submit things. But for now, we're going to go to category and we're going to select, ob Oop, my face is in the way, sorry. We're going to select objects. So go to category, select objects, and then we're going to select this box right here. And uh, as of now, it's called box. I don't know if this is also called box, cardboard box. So we're going to call this box. We're going to click download. I'm going to suggest just saving it to your downloads. If it's not already on downloads, you click on this PC and then you select downloads. Okay. And it's called box, blah, 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 CBB. I'm just going to name it box just to simplify it for me and save. Okay. It's downloaded. Now I'm going to go into pivot. Um, I'm going to open pivot again, just so you can see what I do to get to that. So, um, I'm going to open up Pivot 5 by double clicking on the icon. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my size by going to Edit Options. And I set it to 720 by 1280, which is like a, a resolution for like TikTok or Instagram Reels. I thought I'd just try that for my animation today. Um, my speed, I'm going to set to um, I'm going to set to 24, which is the kind of the universal animation rate. And I'm going to make my character bigger. I'm gonna make them about, let's see, 200, 200. Oops, gotta look up point. 20,000 is too big, 2,000 is too big, 200. Okay, I want space at the top. The reason I want space at the top is I want there to be room for my object to fall. Then we're gonna add the box, load figure type or control F. Okay, and I'm gonna to go to my downloads and there's box. You can even see the little symbol, that's like a pivot symbol. Or, pivot objects. Okay. I'm going to make that box bigger. You can click in this white area and drag to the right or left. I want a nice big box. That's pretty big. I like it. I'm going to stick it up here in the sky. I am uh, now, if you've made a custom character, you can substitute your custom character. I'm going to go load figure type here and see if I have a custom character. Let me look on my desktop. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Desktop, mm, all STKs, STKs. Let's see if I have Mm, I don't think I have it in here. So anyway, um, I'll just use this character for now. Um, I think this looks way better with a custom character. And oh, I made one. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Let's go to my custom character. There's my custom character. It's not a very good custom character. I just changed his color, I guess. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to animate this box falling and our character sort of the, 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 uh, the object is supposed to be very heavy. We want it to make it look heavy and that it falls fast and that it makes our character sort of fall back or uh, bounce up in the air. Um, uh, or there's a couple ways you can do that. I, actually, you can animate this a couple ways. Um, like I'm gonna do this where the character gets kind of knocked down by, by this box. So I'm gonna have my character facing a little bit to the, uh, to the left sort of like he's not looking that way. And, and, and uh, I'm gonna move him right to the edge there. And then the box is right here, okay? And you can zoom in and out with the, uh, with the scroll on your mouse and you put that on the screen and you can scroll in and out, which is super nice, especially if you have lots of, uh, lots of small uh, motions happening. Okay, so my first thing in any animation is to start with just some nothing happening. I'm not gonna be using in-betweens today so I'm going to be getting into in-betweens more later. They're amazing, but for now, we're going to avoid that. So I'm going to hit spacebar. Uh, oops, click spacebar. One, two, three, four, five. Since we're animating 24 frames per second, I'm actually going to go about, let's see, I'm going to go about 24 frames. I'm going to give them one second of just my character standing there. Then I'm going to do something in animation called anticipation. Anticipation is when you anticipate what something that is about to happen, just like in a movie where there's a, a, a fight between uh, two um, 
like cowboys and they're doing the the thing where they're staring at each other right before they pull their guns out and do the draw and there's that tumbleweed that rolls by there's that moment where you see their hand and the camera will focus on the hand reaching for the gun or the guy's eye squinting and then you see him kind of whip his hand out to shoot so um in any animation showing a moment before something happens that something is about to happen lets the viewer see what's happening so also i'm going to move the mic so it's a little closer sorry if it was a little quiet all right so now um i'm gonna i have my one second of standing there now i'm gonna have my character sort of look up like just in fact i'm gonna have my character flip around i'm gonna have them flip like that i'm gonna hit space bar one two three four i'm gonna do about half a second so that'd be about 10 frames one two three nine ten and then i'm gonna have the head slowly look up so the first move is going to be a small move tiny like if you look here the head just moved just a tiny bit and then i'm going to move back a little further and then i'm going to go way back like this and i'm going to lock it right there one two three four five six i'm gonna hit play and just watch that that's good so far so good okay so now he's going to stay there i want him to kind of like oh like turn around and he's going to see something and now this box is just going to like slam into the ground now when we're animating at 24 frames per second to make this look realistic an object falling like really fast would fall in you know less than a second so that would be about like somewhere between eight and 12 frames i think so i'm just going to do this i'm going to start with the i'm going to click on the box first click on it so it's selected you see the orange dot when the orange dot is selected you know that object is selected so i can like highlight oops now i've highlighted both of them so i'm going to click on this again i gotta zoom in oops zoom out zoom in there we go click once on the orange dot now okay see so he's unselected okay use the arrow keys to animate this so i'm going to move the box in just a little bit like that and i'm going to hit spacebar that's one the next one i'm going to zoom in so you can see this because i want to go a little bit but it's going fast and it's going to get going faster so to show it going faster i'm going to move it bigger spaces spacebar but i want the human eye to have a chance to actually see the object coming in you know what i'm saying so like i don't want it to be too fast now i'm moving so that the orange dot is right on that line and then i'm going to go beyond that thing right there because it's picking up speed i'm going to zoom out a little bit and i'm going to go down again i'm just using the down arrow that's because this is an object and it is falling straight and i want it to be like i'm going to go a little bit further and then this one's going to hit the ground boom now when it touches the ground right there i want my character to kind of it's going to hit the ground and then he's going to bounce up so i'm going to hit in fact i'm going to move his head so it begins right here when it hits the ground space bar now that hit the ground and now i am going to move up like like i just got bounced in the sky so the first one is going to be close so let's go back i'm going to zoom in a little bit and i can grab this handle on the side to drag it down i'm going to move him down i'm going to use the arrow key right there i'm going to use the arrow so the first one is like tiny tiny little bit space bar next one's going to be a little bit higher I'm going to start putting his arms out just a little bit too. I'm just going to make little adjustments. Okay. And then I'm going to move him up and I'm hitting space bar. I'm going to make his arms go out a little more. And then as he gets closer to the top of his, you know, like when something pops up, it goes up and then falls down. So I'm going to slow down now. See, I'm getting closer. And then he's going to fall down and I'm going down a couple clicks. I'm going to go back and adjust his hands a little bit in a second. And I'm going to make his legs spread out a little. Like you, when you land, you sort of bend your knees, you know? So I'm going to do, I'm going to do that. I'm going to just get him. So his feet are touching the ground. Okay. Space bar. Now, Let's just, I'm going to use the arrows next to the letter M in the question mark. The, the, the 
comma and the period will let you advance one frame at a time. Now I'm, I'm holding this and moving through because I want to see the animation and see how it looks. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm going to, I'm going to hit play. I'm going to hit play on this. I'm going to set the speed to 24 frames because 23. Sure. Why not? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, here's what I'm going to do too. I'm going to go to the end of this. I'm going to hit when he's landed, I'm going to put his arms out more and I'm going to hit space bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. play. I want it to just have a nice stopping point. Uh. I'm going to make that longer. I'm going to, I'm going to even add more. I'm going to add till I feel like I'm happy with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. Play. Watch it. Mm. Stick it. I could also have my character kind of flip around again so that there's like a loop um, of the box, like, a, 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 like an eternal loop. Maybe I'll have him kick the box. Why not? Let's have him kick the box. Um, Oh, and I want to fix the arms. So um, you know what? I'm going to fix the arms first. I'm going to run backwards. I'm going to go back to the spot where he starts bouncing up. Okay. And I'm using the period and the comma. Okay. And see how his arms are slightly moving up here? I'm going to keep making his arms move up each frame. Like, like he just got like really surprised by... Uh, this motion here. Maybe even move his arm a little bit. And then I'm, I'm readjusting it like, oh, I'm falling. I got to zoom in. I got to zoom in. Yeah, zoom in. If, you, if it's a little hard to grab those buttons, zoom in. Uh, and then his arms look like they're coming back down. I like that. I'm going to I like that they kind of spread out like how I would, I think that's what I would do when I fall too. There we go. And I'm having him kick it. I'm going to have him wait a full second. He's just going to kick the box off the screen and turn back around. So um, I'm going to go this frame. I'm going to have him, um, let's see, when you kick, you sort of, I'm going to stand up and try this. Okay. So when you kick, you, you pull, like you sort of pull your arm back. And like, if you're doing an exaggerated kick, you sort of like, almost use your arms. So like the opposite arm, uh, I'm going to kick with this foot here. I'm going to lean, uh, you know what? Kick is going to be complicated. I'm just going to try it. I'm just going to try it. I'm going to go put this arm up a little bit. I'm going to lean him forward a little bit. I'm going to zoom back in. Space bar. Actually, I'm going to hold down Control Alt, and I'm going to rotate his body just a little bit. See that? I'm going to grab his dot. I'm going to put him right back, his foot right there, because it's going to look like he's actually tilting back. You know? Um, okay, space bar. These actions, I think, are the most important. To spend a lot of time making them smooth, uh, and 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 really, you know, focusing on. I'm going to straighten this leg out a little bit put it right back in that spot. I'm going to rotate my whole character by holding control and alt because I wanted to really kick this box. He's getting his leg up, bending his back. And I'm just going to go a little bit more. And then hold, hold, two, three. And then boom, this starts moving forward and we see his body tilting back and we're pulling this up and the leg is going to start picking up speed because this is a very quick kick. Okay, boom. I'm going to bend it up so it can come underneath, I'm trying to keep the body. I think this is going to look good. We'll find out. It might not. It might look like total trash, but... Uh... But there you go. Well, it'll be what it is. And here goes. There's the 
thing. I'm going to use the arrow keys to slide that over. There's one. And then um, the kick's going to go through like this with the leg extended. And we'll have the box sort of there. It's very heavy. Going to slide. The kick's going to keep going up a little bit. Body's going to keep coming back. Arm's going to go down. This arm's going to go up. OK, and then I'm going to have it slide off the screen there. And then finish the kick. And then we'll start bringing the leg back down. Legs, this is coming up. This is coming down. So this is, I'm just, I'm really going into some detail here. You do not need to go into this much detail. This is for me. Um, you could save this, whatever uh, you want to, but I'm doing this for my own personal sense of satisfaction uh, in making this recording. I'm going to hold control alt. I'm going to rotate his whole body just a little bit. And I'm going to put his foot right back there because he's tilting his body back forward. He's getting his composure. He's, you know, standing up. Boom. And then I'm going to have him flip back around. And space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar. OK, I'm going to hit play. I have no idea how that's going to look. Hey, I like it. Look at that. That's a pretty good loop. OK, well, there you go. Have fun with it. Um, maybe he kicks the thing off and it falls again. And this time he catches it and he goes Ugh, like it's super heavy. Um, to show something is heavy, you have to show like what a real interaction with a very heavy object be or a very light object. Like it would just kind of go boink off of him. Or if it hits him and just smushes him down. Uh, there's so many ways to do this animation. I can't wait to see what you do with it. Um, thanks for sitting through this very long tutorial. <laughs> All right. Bye.